Okay, so following on from my um, previous video clip um, about the map sensor, what I've done now is connected up a fuel cut defender, an electronic fuel cut defender, and what this is designed to do is to prevent the voltage from the map sensor going too high, which would otherwise cause the ECU to shut down um, thinking that the boost pressure is uh, is going up too high. So if you want to raise your boost over the standard level or over the standard limit, um, normally on most cars it's going to be between 12 and 15 psi of boost where the manufacturer sets sets a limit. So the fuel cut defender there is connected up to the three wires of the map sensor and a decent fuel cut defender will be adjustable. There's a little screw. I don't know if you can see it. Um, and that is used to set the exact point that the voltage is clamped. Now on my uh, on my car it's around about 4.2 volts when the ECU would normally shut down or fuel cut if you want to call it a fuel cut. So the fuel cut's already connected and already set up to hold, well to stop the voltage going any higher than 4.2 volts. What I'll do now then is I'll raise the pressure using my pump again. There we go. Um, I think 4.2 volts is around about 12, 13 psi. Let's see what the voltage is there. On the old multimeter, uh, not quite high enough yet. Well, that's 4.2 volts. You see that I've preset the fuel cut defender to, and we are. Well, that's about 15. Yeah, 15 psi. So the fuel cut is defender is doing its job of preventing um, the map sensor vol voltage going any higher than 4.2 volts. I'll just connect it again. There we go. So, um, like I said, I think 4.2 volts is normally about 13 psi, 12 or 13 psi. So we're already over that. Yet the voltage has not gone up because the fuel cut defender is clamping the voltage.